Did you start it? Yeah. Okay. Am I in your way like this? Nope. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be installing this 370 34 turn brushed motor into our SEX 24 Dodge Power Wagon. So I hope you'll stay tuned and watch this with me. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to be putting this 34 turn engine into the Dodge Power Wagon. There's a few things that we've got to do first before we can do that. We've got to um, remove the engine, of course, and we've got to remove the ESC, and we've got to remove the battery tray. And in the in addition to doing all this while we're in there and we're taking everything apart, we're going to go ahead and put in an Emacs servo and put on some diff covers. So I'll start by taking out the ESC and the engine. How are you going to be? Looks like we got to remove the inner fender wells. So we'll take those out too. You can see quite the difference between the two. Can you do that again? Well, just say it. Well, the the three seventy, uh, the the engine that comes in, it's an eighty eight turn engine. And 88 turns means the amount of wrap that they have on the inside, the amount of copper coil, copper wrap they have on the inside. This is a 34 turn. So it's going to be slower and it's going to be a little bit more um, torquey. And a 370 is talking about the distance, the diameter of the engine. It's a 370 diameter. Um, I'm not really sure what diameter this is but that's how it works. So we're gonna take these drive shafts off, maybe. Now we got to take this ESC tray out. I'm wearing my wrist braces next time. Oh, okay. Well, I'll forget, so, you know, austerity. <coughs> Remind me. Now we need to separate the ESC from the tray. We're gonna need a screwdriver to do that. Hmm. So you weren't ready. Mm 
The double-sided tape really holds on. There we go. Now we need to remove most of this material here to make room for the new engine. And we're gonna do that with something. Uh, I gotta cut this off here. I'm not sure I'm gonna do it. The trouble? Yeah. In the video, so. Okay, I got it all back together. As you can see, I had to move the ESC back here by the battery. Since I don't use the rear shock mounts anyways, I took the shock mounts out. Uh, this let the battery sit a little more level. Um, it did have some problems closing with that wire in the way but it closes and I had to turn the ESC around um, because the motor uh, the wire wiring for the motor wasn't very long so uh, let's take it downstairs and test it on the course and see how it does. Okay, we're back down in my laboratory. And what I'd like to do is uh, just show you a little bit of what this motor can do now that it's in here. Um, since you've reached the end of the video and you're still here, if you would please just subscribe to me if you have not already. I'm at 503 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 1,000. So if you're at this point of the video, you probably um, enjoy the content, and I'd ask you to uh, please subscribe. All right, here we go. It's got a lot of low-end torque. But 
slow crawl is about right there. should probably dub some talking over this. This is, is not all that. You know, it should be describing. Right. All that, you know. Okay, there we go. So it seems to lack the, the real big speed punch of getting over obstacles. Um, whoa, right. So the battery went dead. Um, I just want to say that this has a lot of low end torque, but it lacks the punch of like a uh, brushless motor or even the 88 turn motor. Um, in a race with an 88 turn motor, this would get smoked. It would lose. So it's, it's definitely a power wagon now. It's not really uh, designed for any type of speed at all. That's the 34 turn uh, part of the motor. So if you're interested in getting a motor like this and turning your power wagon into a power wagon, I would uh, I would just do a few things maybe a little differently than I did. I would um, I would uh, try to mount the ESC a little bit lower in the truck because it does in the battery because it does kind of you have to kind of push it down to get it to close. Um, but other than that, um, I like this build and I'm happy that you guys enjoyed it. So please subscribe to me and stay tuned for my next one.